Okay, right, this one will be interesting. I'm not sure how I'm going to treat this image. We'll see how we go. It's colourful, which is nice. So I'm wondering... I'm wondering if we're going to enlarge it. I'm going to leave it. Looks like we're going to do something interesting with this image. Bit of extra contrast, copy density. Going to lighten it off. So it looks like we're going to be doing a mirror image job. An interesting and combined with movement. Hopefully the paper won't curl too much. It's been curling a lot lately, which is really annoying. But I'm right my last my I'm at the bottom of one of my paper reams in one of my reams of paper, so it doesn't surprise me. It's been wet and rainy for the past not not so much for the past two or three days, but before then. So anyway, this is what we're photocopying. Hotel Transylvania Three. Oh, I don't watch the movies. I got no time. I'm too busy doing this. This is my time-consuming passion. I just don't have time for movies anymore. I've got better things to do than watch movies. I like movies, don't get me wrong, and I want to watch them in the future. But I'm too busy trying to get my future on track, trying to get these videos out to YouTube so people can watch. I don't know how I'm going to make a living out of it, but I'm going to hopefully get married soon and yeah but anyway that looks really interesting I like this one so now we're just gonna take this copy and we're gonna do something to it so we're just gonna get rid of the the original it's just throwing it in the pile for recycling so we got this interesting image and we're gonna make it into a four-way mirror image I'm just hoping that the that the paper won't curl too much especially on the inside edges it's really hard to control this curling the weather's just been so stupid with this with my copier's paper and <sighs> photocopying and moisture just don't go at all they don't go together at all <laughs> it's not they're not compatible <laughs> put it that way so we're just doing a little minor tweak. And let's see if we can... We're going to make the colours a bit richer now. So that's when the curling problem starts with the black areas in particular. Because there's a lot of toner and the toner just seems to shrink and the paper just gets pulled with the toner. With all that moisture in it, which is a real pain in the ass. And anyway, that's our first image. So that looks a lot nicer than our first one. So, than the one we just copied. I know what I, I did forget one thing, but it didn't have an effect on this particular job. I should have changed that to copied paper, but we're not doing that now. We've somehow managed to avoid using the, the copied paper feature. And we just found, oh, what have we got? We just bipped it off. Stupid thing. But even, I don't know, normally when I don't, when I don't use the uh, copied paper original type, it usually results in a very wishy-washy and, and I think also a grainy looking image. But here it's actually been a good, maybe it'll, it'll reduce the amount of curling occurring with my images. But this has already started to curl. So hopefully we won't have too much curl. We're going to make two mirror images to finish the job. So we're just going to reach for our mirror image application. They call them apps, but they're not available. They're not for sale on the internet. You know, these features should actually be literally apps. They should be apps that you could purchase off the internet at a real cheap price, like apps on the phone. After all, they're trying to simulate a swipe, flick and drag operation of a phone with this user interface. Why don't they go all the way and make all the features available as apps, optional ones? But the thing is, the machine needs more, more than just apps. It needs artificial intelligence to run itself, to make it easier for the... I forgot to put two copies in. 
It has to have artificial intelligence to to make photocopying easier because we don't want the apps to be bought with no for the average person because I don't think the average person wants all that strange functionality that I'm exploring here. But if anyone must have that functionality, they can just purchase them as apps and the photocopier itself will have this sort of functionality in it but it would control itself but some of these features can should only be available as as online apps so that's just a bit of my thoughts on photocopier on better photocopier design but there's so many more other areas that I'm, I could touch upon but I'm just busy trying to put this together and don't think it's time for me to go into detail about photocopier design but I'm but to say I'm really happy overall with this image and the curling doesn't look like it's been a real major pain in the ass for this particular project so I'm really happy overall I'm a bit not happy with this see it's curling up a bit so I'm just trying to straighten it up a bit more I'm a bit of a perfectionist so that looks a little bit better now and I think overall that's a really nice demo Oh, we've got one bit there. It's a bit... It's not lined up properly. Ah, oh, shit. I'm such a perfectionist. Sorry, folks. I think we'd better go...